white Americans are getting COVID vaccines at significantly higher rates than black Americans. Oh, my. More than 3% of white people across the state got a shot in the arm, but just 1.3% of black people. Same story in Florida, North Carolina, Nebraska, and Indiana. Every state that gives us data broken down by race, there's a dramatic disparity. Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> 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 oh my, quite a startling take by George Takei, former actor who played Sulu on Star Wars a billion years ago and has done some voice acting work and even appeared on Howard Stern, I believe, for a while. Um, look, obviously the topic of this video, I want to be very clear, I have zero interest in whether or not you have received the poke or not. I believe strongly that is your choice. Um, it's your personal decision. It's none of my business. Uh, I wish more people felt this way, uh, to be totally honest. I am not a doctor. I am not offering medical advice. And anybody online who does and isn't is a moron. Uh, and I only have, again, I don't have it. I know that people have to make their own decisions based on their own individual risks or, you know, what kind of position they are in life. And that's okay. Um, where I have a problem with is when you have influencers or Hollywood people or whatever shaming people based on their decisions or acting like they're elite or better because they, they did something like, you know, because they got the poke. Look, if you, if you want to, cool. And uh, if you want to take that precaution, good. If you don't and you have your own reasons, well, I guess that's none of my business. Um, and you see this take from George Takai, which is actually shocking given, um, his, uh, you know, he, he, he just given how, how long he's been around and what he's seen. Um, he writes the willing, willfully unpoked to wind up in hospitals from the coof should not receive priority medical care over other very sick or injured people who are as much in urgent need of medical care. You know, essentially saying, let them die. They made a choice. Now they're sick. Let them die. So I suppose all of the people in America with type 2 diabetes, uh, because they've made the choice to be unhealthy, should probably be left to die, George Takai. Uh, you know, shockingly, a lot of people pointing out, um, you know, they're the group of people who that is the largest who have willing willfully uh, decided to not take the poke are actually uh, young are, are minorities. So George Takai indirectly calling out minorities here. Yes, I know it's a tongue in cheek call out, but if you look at the start of July, the poke rate was 15% lower for black folks than for white people in the United States. And the rate for Hispanic people is 3% lower than that. Asian Americans have maintained an even higher rate than white Americans, well above 70%. So why does George Takai not like uh, black people? I, I would appear he has some sort of issue with them. Um, also, just getting absolutely BTFO'd here. You see here, George Takai, a gay man, is clearly old enough to remember when the vicious people when vicious people advocated for gay men to not receive priority AIDS treatment because it was their choice to engage in that kind of behavior. Luckily, medical professionals triage based on need, not based on whatever psychosis this is. I mean, what? Should we apply this to obese people who wind up in ERs with heart attacks due to unhealthy life choices? Uh, what? What? That's not how healthcare professionals work. Let us do our job and you do yours, whatever that is. So even doctors are coming in to dunk on this person. Reminder that hospitals shut down other procedures for months over expected coof surges that never happened. Also believe... Also, people like you freaked out hospital workers so much, many retired early, and now we have a staffing shortage. 
I, I, I mean, what an unnecessarily hostile, small-minded tweet. Many of those who have not received it um, or are not vulnerable to the coof or can't have it for other reasons. Maybe we should have a health score. If you have self-caused health issues, no treatment then. Again, Gemma writes here, I'm not anti-poke, just anti-poke bullies. That's where I find myself too, obviously. You know, I I am I a hundred percent believe in 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 science and and you know medical history and um you know taking precautions. And it's funny that like people will gaslight. Like if you just say like, hey, maybe we shouldn't have a law requiring a, a medical procedure thing, you know? Um, and they'll say, what are you anti-vax? No, 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 no. Of course not. Well, why would you say something so crazy? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying maybe we shouldn't be, you know, worried about infringing on people's personal liberties so easily. Maybe we should just think about this a little bit. What? What? You should be banned from the internet for having such a such. And again, I want to be very clear. I have a, you know, I would guess that you know at least half of my viewers, maybe more, have uh, received the poke. And fine, like seriously, I I'm not a, like understand this. I don't care. I don't. If you, you know you wanted to protect yourself, or you had to do it to to go back to work, or you whatever. Like seriously, I don't care. Um, but it's people like this that are insane. This is a really bad take. So many of the unpoked are people who've had a bad history with the American government, particularly blacks and immigrants. Should we also not prioritize people who get cancer from from SIGs? Good question. So that means that any of the 73% of unpoked African-American population in New York City should all be denied medical care. Now, that's not what he's saying. He's saying that they shouldn't be prioritized. And he actually tweeted this some time ago. And all the hubbub is kind of coming up now. The willfully obese who wind up in hospitals should not receive priority medical care over other very sick, injured people who are much in urgent need of medical care as well. So I guess you'd be good with this too. Based on this principle, many groups can be punished. Gay men with HIV, recreational users, people who vote to defund the PDs, DYs. Here's another doctor. No, that's not how we operate. We don't punish people for making bad health choices, and I am the most pro-poke doctor there is. People are prioritized according to need, not past decisions. You see a lot of these articles coming out now at Daily News. George Takei says people who are will willfully unpoked should be last in line for priority care. Actor and activist George Takei on Sunday said that the willfully unpoked or refused to be poked uh, should be last in line for priority care. He followed with uh, anti-pokers think they are owning us liberals by refusing to get poked. But as the kids say, that is a s epic self-own. Look, I absolutely hate that this has been politicized. I really, really do. I don't like it. I have friends who, who like, who le legitimately are like not getting to poke the to own the libs, and then you have libs who are like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna post my poke selfie, like and retweet, bro. Suck it, chuds." That is, this is like, it's both sides that are delusional. You should be making medical decisions based on what is right for you, not to own Trump, not to own the conser con the chuds or the conservatards or whatever they say. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Star Trek, but you refuse to get the poke, then you're not living up to the ideals of Star Trek, he wrote on Twitter in December. Science, logic, and compassion require us to all do our part. I don't understand why pe people think that this kind of like bullying um, will change minds. It, it doesn't. You're not any better than anyone else because you got the poke and, and, and you're not any worse than anyone else if you didn't. Um, it, it, it's insane to me that people have allowed themselves to be manipulated so deeply by the political machine that they're, they're, they're 
that they're allowing this kind of stuff to make up their minds. George Takei being a lunatic on Twitter is going to convince absolutely zero people to get the poke. In fact, what it's going to do is galvanize people who are against it now. Um, it's going to make it worse. Like, you get that, right? George Takei also lives in one of the most locked down states in this country, probably in one of the worst cities in this country that has to use an app to avoid stepping in human leavings on the streets. OK, so I'm not exactly thinking that people should be taking medical advice from George Takei. Um, and and this is a man that has you know, no shortage of insane blowback in his life. His sentiment has gotten blowback because of the harsh do or die approach. Some have pointed out there are a number of people who are unpoked for a variety of reasons and instead calling for them to get left out in the dust, as George suggests here, they argue they simply need to be even more outreach or education. To which he replied, we are in the age of dummies. Yeah, just go get it. Don't question anything. Don't don't make the you know, don't think about your own health. Wait for somebody in Hollywood to tell you to go put something in your arm. Great science, George. What an idiot. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.